Hello, this is Dr. Joanne Manson, Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'd like to talk with you about a recent draft statement from the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force on vitamins, minerals, and multivitamins, supplements, and prevention of cardiovascular disease and cancer. Is there a role for these micronutrient supplements in the prevention of heart disease or cancer? Well, the task force provides clear guidance that based on available research, there's insufficient evidence to recommend any of these vitamins or minerals for prevention of cardiovascular disease or cancer, but they go further. They actually have a D recommendation against the use of high dose beta carotene, vitamin E, for prevention of cardiovascular disease and cancer. Now, as you know, with high dose beta carotene, and, um, there was an increased risk of lung cancer in smokers and also some adverse uh, signals for cardiovascular disease. And with high dose vitamin E, alpha-tocopherol, in the physician's health study, there was an increased risk of hemorrhagic stroke, and also the SELECT trial suggested that there may be an increased risk of prostate cancer. Now, it's unclear why the task force updated the uh, statement for multivitamins, given the last statement in 2014 or seven years ago was very similar to the current statement. There really hasn't been an update on the evidence for multivitamins in uh, cardiovascular disease or cancer. The previous large-scale randomized trial of multivitamins was the U.S. Physicians Health Study 2, which had a signal for a small reduction in cancer, about an 8% significant reduction in the overall study population, and an 18% reduction in those age 70 and older. This, the trial was done in men only, and uh, therefore another trial was started, the COSMOS trial, which includes both men and women to see if these findings can be replicated. And um, those results are due out at the end of 2021. So there may be additional information from that trial, which will also be looking um, not only at cancer, cardiovascular disease, but also at cognitive function and eye diseases such as cataract macular degeneration. Now for vitamin D, Although um, several randomized trials now and meta-analyses suggest there may be a reduction in cancer death, the task force is not recommending routine screening for vitamin D deficiency or, or routine supplementation of the, a generally a healthy population. Um, Although these, the task force is recommending against the use of vitamins, minerals, um, and multivitamins are saying there's insufficient evidence to recommend the use of these micronutrients for prevention of heart disease or cancer, this doesn't mean that there is no role of these vitamin mineral supplements. We know that there are certain high-risk populations where targeted use is appropriate, and this includes pregnant women or even women who are planning to conceive, where folic acid or prenatal vitamins are quite appropriate. Infants, where the Pediatrics Academy does recommend a supplementation with vitamin D or iron in uh, breastfed infants. And then there are older adults, um, especially those with osteoporosis, process, pernicious anemia, uh, where there is, um, it is important to provide supplementation, B12 in the case of pernicious anemia, calcium, vitamin D, um, with osteoporosis or high, uh, bone health problems. Also those with malabsorption, such as uh, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, post-gastric bypass surgery, having um, supplementation with vitamins and minerals can be quite helpful, as well as in the context of certain medications such as metformin, proton pump inhibitors, where supplements may be uh, helpful. But overall, the recommendation is for the generally healthy population to try to get these vitamins and minerals from a healthful and balanced diet. That is where they're best absorbed and also in the most appropriate pro uh, proportions. And also to avoid megadosing. That's a very, very important um, message. And um, do stay tuned for the COSMOS trial of multivitamins and, um, and other randomized trials that may shed further light on the role of vitamins and minerals in the prevention of chronic disease. Thank you so much for your attention. This is Joanne Manson.